Kipsters. Today we're reading, we're learning seventh grade B1 match quotations with their themes. First, I'm going to learn with an example to make sure I have the key points for what theme is. Key idea. Theme is a key message or lesson. Key message or lesson communicated in a story, poem, or play. A single work of literature might have a number of themes, and different parts of the story will highlight different themes. So it's a lesson or message that's really important. Usually works of literature don't openly state their themes, but you can often identify themes by looking at important moments, including dialogue, action, and observations. For example, look at the quotation from an important mo moment in Tuck Everlasting. She was afraid to go away alone. It was one thing to talk about being by yourself, doing important things, but quite another when the opportunity arose. To find the theme, we're going to analyze or close read this quotation. What does it suggest about the character's values? What life lessons could be taken away? Use questions like these to make an inference or an educated guess. The character thought leaving home would be easy when she didn't actually have to do it. Now I'm going to apply it, apply it more broadly. It's easier to imagine doing brave things than to actually do them. So that's going to be my example, my key idea, remembering that a theme is a key idea or a message or lesson. Let's look at the example. Read the quotations below from Brian Jacques' Red Wall. Match each one with the theme or lesson it suggests. All right, quotation. Knowledge is the fruit of wisdom to be eaten carefully and digested fully, unlike that lunch you're bolting down, little friend. Okay, so this is about knowledge and wisdom. We need to eat it carefully and digest it fully. Is this about the power of a tool or learning new things slowly and thoughtfully? If we need to digest it fully and eat it carefully, it's probably slowly and thoughtfully. Let's look at this next quotation. Maybe the sword does have some magic. Personally, I think it's the warrior who wields it. So it's the person who's holding the sword that has the magic. Which theme above works? The power of a tool lies in its user? Well, if I'm holding the sword, then yeah, that one makes sense. Let's look at our solution. First, I'm reading the quotation. Knowledge is the fruit of wisdom. To be eaten carefully and digested fully. Unlike that lunch you're bolting down, little friend. So the inference that you should have made, and let's see if we got it right, is the speaker compares knowledge to food and implies that it must be learned carefully and fully. Carefully and fully, slowly and thoughtfully, it works. Quotation two, maybe the sword does have some magic. Personally, I think it's the warrior who wields it. The speaker believes that the magic does not come from the sword, but from the person who's using it. Therefore, the theme is the power of a tool lies in its user. All right, Kipsters, remember you can always learn with an example on your first question of this skill, and you should always be revisiting the key idea in blue and the solution in orange if you get an answer wrong. You can always think to yourself, uh, what did I do when I got the last one that I got right? Right. What thinking steps did I take? All right, get that 90%, I mean 90 smart score, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.